In order to access any of these mixer channels uh, or either of these monitor PCBs, then this bridge, I think is what it's referred to in the manual, but this long PCB, which is basically lots of straight tracks of solder, needs to be removed. And it is connected in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. I would suggest just gently prying at it from one side to the other. And then it's gonna lift out. It's got two connections on it, both red, one's two pin and one's three pin. Occasionally you'll find these foam pads on the back are missing or have dropped off. They need to be glued back on because they are preventing these pins from shorting out against the shielding on the back of the record playback amplifier. Like the 244, the mixer channels aren't all on one big board. They're six identical daughter boards. Unlike the 244, each of these jack sockets is on its own little daughter board. These are attached via clip to the serrated lips of the jack socket. It's easier to get these out once the front plastic case is off the chassis, but it can be done. And you just reach in and grab the lip with a pair of pliers and pull. So that's a clip I'm talking about. Hopefully you can see the serrations on the end of that jack socket. So when you put it back in, it's quite fiddly, but you've got to get that socket hard up against the chassis so that you can then push this. There's like four different serrations that you can go into. You want it to go as far back as possible so that that's going to be relatively tight. Then there's a plug at the far end. Each of these are connecting it to the little daughter board that's got the input sockets. Each mixer daughter board has one, two, three screws that need to be removed. Screwing into the metal chassis so they're of the narrow ferrule type. And that's not going to come off if you haven't already removed the knobs from the front. Most of this can be cleaned and soldered without removing any of these washers or screws to open these up and pry them up if they get really filthy. You still need to desolder them in order to be able to um, pry open the base here. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to remove these other one, two, three, four, five, but you would repeat that process five more times. Remove the two clips for this little daughter board with the headphone sockets on it. It's attached to this board via one plug here. Now I'll remove the screws that are attaching these boards to the chassis. You would have one here, and another one here, and here, top left. I beg your pardon, I went to remove that screw. There's actually two screws beside each other. One of them attaches the chassis to the plastic case and one of them attaches the metal plate in front of these two boards to the metal chassis. I've removed the wrong one. So it's the leftmost of two little screws in there. And there's one down here, just above the fader. And uh, there's a pot there. One to the right of this fader. And then there's one that you need to access through a hole in the lip of the chassis. And at that point, this is going to be able to come free. And you can see more clearly that each of these boards is connecting to one side of this little uh, cassette hub guy that I mentioned earlier. Uh, we can also see that the remaining connections to the board are all to the power supply. Down here, we've got this uh, red and black cable going to this small plug here. Then we've got an orange and brown cable going to a header on the rightmost of these boards as you look at it from the back. And we've got a header, is it four? No, it's five, sorry, with red, yellow, black, green, and blue cables coming in there at that point. That comes away as one sort of unit. Um, should you need to get into these master feeders, they detach. If you had two screws each at the front, I won't bother to do that. Obviously, if you needed to pry it open, you would still need to desolder this little board so you could get at these clips in here and open them up. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I've done a few videos, a few different models. Probably the Tascam 244 is the closest to this, where if faders are still a problem after cleaning by putting contact cleaner and compressed air through the recess then you can open them up inspect the brushes to make sure they're not actually broken 
quite often there'll be a bunch of lint and grit in there that can prevent these from working once it's cleaned then they will work again this board here if you need to do any uh, soldering or signal tracing that can be left attached to the metal plate at the front i mean if you needed to detach it then remove one two three four of these washers that are going around the thread on these pots this board's a little harder to access. That one I would more regularly need to remove. And that would be one, two, three, four washers here. And you'd also uh, remove this little daughter board with these record arm LEDs and so on. You remove two screws there and then that would come off and dangle. I'm just going to leave these five boards in situ as I say, but I will at this stage just undo these plugs because we're going to go on and uh, remove all this stuff.